welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Mr. Zaman and here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. It's possible to reverse a devastating heart condition for the first time. Three men who had heart failure caused by the buildup of sticky toxic proteins are now free of symptoms after their condition spontaneously reversed in an unprecedented case described by a team at UCL and the Royal Free Hospital. The condition, a form of amyloidosis affecting the heart, is progressive and has until now been seen as irreversible, with half of patients dying within four years of diagnosis. The new study reports on three men aged 68, 76 and 82 who were diagnosed with transthyretin cardiac amyloidosis but who later recovered. Their own reports of symptoms improving was confirmed by objective assessments including cardiovascular magnetic resonance or CMR scans showing that the buildup of amyloid proteins in the heart had cleared. Long COVID impact on fatigue and quality of life worse than some cancers. Fatigue is the symptom that most significantly impacts the daily lives of long COVID patients and can affect quality of life more than some cancers, finds a new study led by researchers at UCL and the University of Exeter. The research examines the impact of long COVID on the lives of over 3,750 patients who were referred to a long COVID clinic and used a digital app as part of their NHS treatment for the condition. Patients were asked to complete questionnaires on the app about how long COVID was affecting them. Considering the impact of long COVID on their day-to-day -day activities, levels of fatigue, depression, anxiety, breathlessness, brain fog and their quality of life. The researchers found that many long COVID patients were seriously ill and on average had fatigue scores worse or similar to people with cancer-related anemia or severe kidney disease. Novel way to develop drugs without side effects Japanese researchers now reveal a new way of activating G-protein coupled receptors or GPCR by triggering shape changes in the intracellular region of the receptor. This new process can help researchers design drugs with fewer or no side effects. Adverse side effects ensue if drugs acting on GPCRs activate multiple signaling pathways rather than a specific target pathway. That is why drug development focuses on activating specific molecular signal pathways within cells. Activating the GPCR from inside the cell rather than outside the cell could be one way to achieve specificity. A team of researchers headed by Osamu Nureki, a professor at the University of Tokyo and his lab, Identification of the heart muscle disease caused in children is key to effective treatment. Treating children with cardiomyopathy should be personalized based on the root cause, symptoms and progression of the condition in each child according to a new American Heart Association scientific statement published in the journal Circulation. Many of the causes of cardiomyopathy in children are related to genetic abnormalities rather than type 2 diabetes, alcoholism, long-term high blood pressure or family history as seen in adults. Symptoms of cardiomyopathy in children may include difficulty breathing, heart palpitations, fainting during physical activity, swelling in the ankles, feet, legs, abdomen or congestion of neck veins or heart failure symptoms such as troubled breathing, poor feeding or growth, excessive sweating, low blood pressure or fatigue. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.